Black Spectacles is the architect's website for learning design software. This is just one of thousands of tutorials we've built to help you stay current and stay a step ahead of the competition. After this video, check out blackspectacles.com to gain unlimited access to all of our courses. The process I'll be using for getting this panelization into Revit is the Chameleon plugin. And the Chameleon plugin passes points between Grasshopper and Revit. So right now what I've got are surfaces. So I need to get the endpoints of the surface, the control points of the surface, because I'm not going to be passing the whole surface. So I'm going to use a, a series of components that will extract those points from the surfaces and group them together. So if you remember the way that we group together points for the columns, for example, when we were using white feet for columns, we need to do something similar here, which is to group all the points together that relate to a particular panel. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use the control point component, and I'm going to feed my diamonds into that. So that gives me Let's see, let's open up a panel here and see what that looks like. So there are the points, and you can see they're grouped together. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So they're already grouped together based on this diamond component. But you'll notice that there are five points. 0 through 4 is five indices. Uh, I really only need four. So you can see that 0 and 4 are the same point. They have the same data. Uh, so we need to call out either the 0 or the 4th index. So I'm going to use the call index component. I'll pass that whole data in there. And for the index, I'm going to set it to zero. So I'm going to make a panel and put zero in there. So that it calls out zero. And I'm going to check that data just to make sure it worked the way I expected it to. And that looks right. So now we have four points instead of five, and none of them are repeating. OK, so now I've got that. Now I, I can actually feed these points into the chameleon component, which is called uh, Revit AC. And I'll find that by, let's see, go into the tab called chameleon. And under the interoperability, header here. There's a component called Place Revit Adaptive Components, Revit AC for short. And it has three inputs here. Activate, which I will use um, a button for. Same as with Wummingbird. Um, and then I'll feed my points in here. And then once I activate this, it will bring up a prompt saying to switch to Revit. So I activated it, and it prompts me and it says waiting for Revit to connect. Please activate the Place Adaptive Components command in Revit. So that's one thing that's different about Chameleon is that it doesn't use an intermediary file format. It doesn't use Excel. It doesn't use IFC. It doesn't use any sort of um, data file. It communicates directly with Revit. So if I switch back to Revit, and I'm going to close this example file. So you know it's this face that's going to be propagated. So I need to use the chameleon add-in that's called GH Place Adaptive. So once I activate that, it'll bring up this window. If it brings up this window, it means that now that they are properly communicating with each other, that Grasshopper is communicating with this Revit side here. And it's asking me which type of adaptive component I want to place. So in this case, I already have some preloaded adaptive components that were made previously. Um, and I can select from them which one I want to use. So in this case, I'm going to do the simple plane, which is just a four-point plane. No thickness to it, no materials, just a four-point plane. I'm going to select that and hit OK. And so now it'll actually place those components based on the points. So there are those components. You can see it's following the shape of the slab edge because it's representing the skin. And you can see if I click on one of them, it's based on four points. One, two, three, four. 
and I can swap that out for any other type of adaptive component I might already have loaded in. So in this case, I have a component that makes the little cheese grater. Um, so if I switch to that, it adds the little uh, sunshade. So now let's go back to Grasshopper and let's take a look at getting in the triangle pieces that would finish that surface. So basically, I can just replicate this exact series of commands. And instead of feeding it the diamonds, I'll feed it the triangles. And then activate the command. Activate the Revit AC component. So I go back to Revit again, and I do place adaptive. And then this time, I know I want to use a three-point panel instead of a four-point panel. So I'll hit OK, and it starts the import process and places them in. So now I have my three-point panels adjacent to my four-point panels. You can find the next tutorial in this course on blackspectacles.com. Just click the link below this video. And for other tutorials in architecture software, check out blackspectacles.com. It's the architect's website for learning design software with courses in software like CAD, Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, Grasshopper, Photoshop, and many more. Visit blackspectacles.com now to see more free tutorials and to gain unlimited access to our entire course library.